Well guys, so I am here in my kitchen and it's like almost one o'clock. It's like 12.57 and um, I didn't even try to go to sleep. I was in there messing around on YouTube. I'm, I'm needing to get like caught up on YouTube videos, but I haven't got to that yet. Didn't get home till like um, 10.40 something or 10.30. Maybe it was a little earlier. I can't remember, but it was sort of late. Um, so I got up and came in here to the kitchen and I've been fooling around. I've not even been doing nothing. I've just been like walking around and um, let Noble outside. She was wanting to go out. And so she was in here with me, like just walking around and looking at me like I'm a crazy lady just in here at midnight. Um, anyways, I was going to do this video tomorrow and like sometimes, but this crap is on my mind so bad. And it's just, um, I don't do these types of videos a whole lot, like hardly ever. Um, but I'm going to talk about it. Um, see, this is a religious video. So those of you that don't like, you know, religious talk type videos, you can just, you know, get on out of it um, and meet up with me on a different video. But this is something's on my mind and I wanted to talk about it with you all to get y'all's opinions and your prayers. So that being said, I'm going to tell you what it's about. So let me get us up with this water and hope that my phone don't go dead on me and I'm sorry about this mess here looking like a mess I've not even took my freaking makeup off which sometimes I don't I know that's bad but yeah a lot of people will ask me like what do you use on your face like what kind of face wash or like all this kind of stuff used to my gynecologist did whenever I went you know for the baby doctors when I was pregnant with them he'd be like you have the purple perfect um complexion i'm like you know i really don't use anything and in the back of my mind i'm thinking dude i sleep in my makeup sometimes if that tells you something so anyways i do use some sometimes i'll use like dollar tree body um face wash but i haven't even been doing that here lately anyways getting side sidetracked off the subject here um so what i want to talk about is okay I was raised Pentecostal and if a lot of you all don't know what that religion is it's sort of like a church of God but it's sort of different um, I was raised to wear I couldn't wear pants couldn't wear shorts couldn't cut my hair couldn't wear makeup nail polish any of that crap I would sneak and do it anyways but you know I guess I was rebellious like rebellion sometimes or whatever the word is but um so I done that all the way up till I was 16, I guess 16, yeah. Um, even like at school, like the school that I went to, they were, um, they understood it because all of the kids from kindergarten on up knew, you know, I guess they just accepted it and went on. But whenever my mom would leave my dad and um, they would split up several times in my childhood, like a lot of times, I can't even count them. So I would have to pack up and go to a different, um, mainly me, my brother would stay. I was the one that had to deal with the crap. Pack up and go and to another school. It was awful. Um, and the reason why I'm talking about this is just because it's on my mind and I need to get it off my chest and I need y'all's prayers and I need your opinions. Um, so anyways, um, as I was little, I remember going to PE and all of those freaking kids would make fun of me. And I, I mean, seriously, they would really poke fun of me and be like, why are you wearing skirts? Why do you not cut your hair? And just all kinds of ugly stuff, like really, 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 really mean stuff. And I would have to like, I didn't know anybody hardly. Um, I didn't really want to meet those friends and like be friends with a lot of them because I knew that I'd be going back to my like old friends, my real friends as I was growing up. Half of them I don't even really, I've probably kept in touch with like one or two of them, but it's like not nothing like all the time. Very random that I do even run into them or talk to them since I live out of um, that town over there um, or county, I should say. Um, so I dealt with that my childhood and I want to say, I. I don't really regret that I went through that because that's just, you know, that was meant for me to go through. Um, but it was strict and it was hard. I mean, you would see 
I would see other girls getting to wear this, getting to do this, but here, yeah, I'm stuck with this kind of crap. Anyways, off of that, that's just a little idea of that. Um, I would wear makeup. I'll take it off when I get home, which my mama really probably knew. Half of the time, I'd get in trouble about it, but there for a while, she's just like, whatever. Um, but anyway, so I've always been considered myself as a, a holiness person, um, you know, religious-wise. I was raised that, and I was taught a lot about that. But through all of that time, I learned a whole lot of good things. And through a lot of that time, I encountered the adults a whole lot of freaking judging. And pointing the finger at people that didn't have the correct, appropriate dress dressings, I guess you would say, like skirts. Or either the skirt was too short, either the skirt had a split in it that wasn't even... Uh, hardly a split, but you would still get griped about it. Uh, you had makeup on, you cut your hair, um, just, you know, the whole nine yards. That's what I dealt with. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that that was all that it was, because on the other hand, they were wonderful people. Still to this day, they're wonderful people. A lot of them's passed away. Um, like the main home church that I was raised in, um, that little church there that I grew up in, that, like, a lot of the people passed away. My pastor passed away a few years ago. And his wife, several before him, several years before him. So, the, that chapter in my life was gone. And even before he passed away, I had quit that church because of incidents that had happened. And I've already talked about that, like, several videos back. But... Before he died, you know, I had went back to church and um, visited the people. And sort of like it was like my saying goodbyes to him. I didn't know that he was going to die. He was in his 70s, but I didn't think that he would die. There was nothing wrong with him. But I think that just happened for that reason. And when he died and when all the other people began to die and um, the church just started fading away and stuff, which I was already out of that place my heart really left whenever he passed away and the pastor wife you know that's something that i had always held on to because that was my home church that was my like raising i guess you would say the whole thing that you know all of the help that i got from from the lord like going to the pastor and you know just you know church family that like that's your family you know you you're there for all those years i'm going to try to talk about this without crying because that's this is something really dear to my heart don't talk about it that much um i always talk about trying to talk about uplifting things on my channel and stuff such as that but you know this is life we deal with stuff like this and you know it's something that we encounter not all of us but most of us and um so he passed away that chapter was done for me that chapter in my life of me taking my kids there and you know that's where um I basically met my husband. His his mom had, like the Lord told her in her mind that she should stop there. This is no lie. And um, didn't even know her from Adams. And she pulled in there and I was singing. And she gave me his number. And she's like, you're going to be my, grand my uh, daughter in law. Looked at her like she was some mad woman. I was like, thinking in my mind, who is this? At the time, my daddy had passed away and I was hurt. I had, um, I wish I was young. I was like 16. And during that time, you know, you, you're you trying to figure out who you are and you get crapped on by boys. Y'all know all about that. I wasn't really, I, I never re really did get to date a whole lot of, of people, but, you know, one or two of them, you know, I did. And um, I dated, which I was 16. And I lived and learned the hard way on some things. And, but, you know, at that time, she's like, you're going to be my daughter. And I'm thinking, dude. What was she talking about here? I was, like, freaking out a little bit. So I just looked at her. I'm like, you know, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Um, I will give you my number, and he can call me if he's interested. And so, you know, needless to say, to make the story short, because I'm already at 10 minutes here, um, he had called me, and I'm like, he sounds weird. I'm like, okay. So we talked a while, and we figured, I can't remember if it was a few days or a week or so, we had planned on to meet up at the post office in the town that I lived in, and that we did. And our first, um, I guess you would say, date was going to church at the at the church that I grew up in. 
and was raised in. Um, so, you know, that's something special, but when the church is that not no longer there anymore and all of the people, my pastor that passed away, um, it's really hard. And it, um, it took a whole long time for me to accept that. Not that the fact that he died, but some of the stuff that went on. But when he passed away and the church shut down, that was a close chapter in my life. You know, that was the things during that time I needed. The chapter's closed. Now it's time to move forward. So that being said, um, we um, would go to a, another church down here in that same area that just started up. Um, sort of like family, church, friends, I guess you would say, from just, you know, previous through the years. And, I, you know, after I got married and stuff and turned 16, I would always wear makeup and um, would cut my hair, wear pants. Because, you know, in my heart, I was always hounded I was going to hell for that. But in my heart, I know God is a loving God and He knows the person that I am. And He is not going to send my soul to hell for doing such things. If He did do that, if that was the case, none of us would be going to heaven because all of us have crap in our life that's, you know, all of us sin. We sin daily. Um, that's whenever he died on the cross. He died for our sins. Whether you say crap or a bad word or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, thinking bad about somebody. All of that crap sin. I don't care what anybody says. It's sin. And it's no different than if they want to say wearing makeup sending you to hell. Then if that was the case, the other crap would send you to hell too. God's not like that. And I know that if you know something's wrong and you d keep doing it, that's really bad. But, like, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just talking. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the type of stuff that I was raised in and brought up in. And looking back now, I noticed a lot of that was focused too much, way too much. Instead of pointing the finger and picking and pulling on people, guys... People should be lifting one another up, praying for people, trying to get people saved, not worrying about if I have blue eyeshadow on or nail polish or these blue nails. What the crap ever? No, that's not what, that's not who I am and that's not what I stand for. Um, I don't know. But anyways, to get on with this situation here, and I know I've got a pile of dishes back there. They're clean, but I haven't put them away. We just got home not too long ago. I think it was yesterday or the day before. But, you know, I know in life, you encounter obstacles and trials and stuff. You get through one situation, something else bigger is going to occur, and it's just part of life. But I'm really at a standing point in my life. Um, an incident occurred, and um, which I've, I've, I've posted my channel on Facebook. I've, I've kind of kept that a secret, not a real big secret for a while, because at the time I just didn't want to share my YouTube to everybody out there in the whole wide world, which it's out there now because I shared it on Instagram and Facebook. But anyways, a message was um, the pastor's son, the church that we attend on Wednesdays. Like, like I can't break. It's hard for me to break away from the the you know the holiness raising that I was raised in. Like not doing everything that they do. Like not cutting your hair, but going to church and feeling the Holy Spirit, feeling the Holy Ghost, you know, just, it's really live, like they have drums and all this stuff, and like real live music and stuff, and you can feel the Holy Ghost and all this stuff, that's a whole nother different to topic, I know some of y'all probably don't get what I'm saying, but, um, you know, that's my raisin, that's where my heart's been for all these years, knowing that, feeling the, um, the Lord, seeing God do so many things in my life, and in, in another's lives, but, Anyway, something was said on Facebook today, and it was a whole big old thing talking about how, basically, I'm, I think I pretty much know that it was probably occurring to me and my husband, more so me, um, saying that I was raised in the right way of knowing because my husband's Baptist, and he sort of, we're Baptist-Costal, but that's not my label no more. Um, we shouldn't even have a freaking label. Um... Something was said that you know the right way to go. Um, so many people have slacked up and are not doing the right things. And 
and in another words that you're blind a lot of like it's a whole bunch of stuff that was said it was very hurt not hurtful about what he said but i know that it was aiming toward me and who lord knows who else so i waited a minute and i told justin about it and he read it and i didn't say nothing and then after church and then after we had ate i got back on there and i wrote on there i said you know i was raised not to cut my hair not to wear makeup not to do this not to do that but now i'm okay with that i'm okay with wearing makeup i'm okay with cutting my hair god knows my heart god knows my soul he knows my every move and what is my heart's desire in me what like what what do i stand for i stand for god helping people get saved helping others in this walk of life that needs help there's too many people hurting to point fingers on how they live their life i don't do bad things you know i'm just a regular typical human being that tries to do the best they can in life and so i told him i said you know i don't think god's going to send my soul to hell for that i said god knows my heart and he knows what i stand for and after i had said that i think i said some more stuff but i can't remember it's late um i didn't read the text but i had seen where we had another notification for some reason i didn't look it's busy i think getting ready for church or something and um and i'm sorry that i'm not looking here i'm looking there this is just hard for me to talk about without really thinking about it and not getting upset about it um i'll try to look here after that was said someone that really this really burnt me up and just broke crushed my heart like seriously not really bad she got on there and said well if you're holiness you should start living it yeah that was going to me after they had read my comment the crap was going to me saying that if i'm a holiness person if i claim to be a holiness person i need to live it i need to walk that path need to do the things that you know you're supposed to do that just burnt me up crushed my heart crushed i don't know like those words really really hurt me seriously you know you go from the holiness church there that's no longer there that, that was my raisin trying to keep a little touch to that like hanging on to that way through the other church we'll go there on wednesdays yeah it it, it just crushed me so in, in other words this is what i took i did not comment back i didn't reply nothing back the person that said that in the message before about you know going toward me or others whoever the crap it was going to took it down they removed the freaking text and the reason being maybe he thought i didn't read it maybe he did that's hurtful and that's wrong and that's ugly and it's nasty and it's not of god you don't tell people that how to live their life especially if the person that said that don't even go to church and they want to sit and say that to me if i'm a holiness i should live my life holy let me tell you something them folks don't know who they're talking to they don't know nothing about my life well yeah they know about my life they know about who I am, where I stand with God. Obviously, they're judging on the outward appearance. They don't know. They don't see my heart. They don't see my deeds that I do out in life helping others. They don't, you know, you don't, outside of church, what do you do? Do you help others or do you look and point and say, well, Lord, they shouldn't be doing this. They shouldn't be doing that. No, I don't do that. That lady don't even go to church. She was raised to go to church, brought up in church, but she don't know more. So she should have no say so whatsoever in what I do or what I wear or what I say. Um, so that just cut me. And after that moment, I'm going to go back to that church Wednesday and I'm going to, I'm going to get the pastor by his side and his son. And I'm going to be like, look, this is who I am. I was raised holiness, right? I get that. I wear makeup. I wear pants. I wear shorts. I do all that. If you can accept that and if you're going to always point fingers at me, I will not be back. I will not try to, you know, help you all at this church and, you know, just help y'all. I will not do that no more. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be getting my heart crushed on, getting picked on, and thinking that just because I wear makeup and have this crap on my nails, on my face, I'm going to hell. I should live right. I should be an example of my kids. I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to tell them that. They can preach what they want to about that, but no longer will I sit and do this crap ever again. So, 
with that rambling and all that crap, that's a tornado right there in itself. Um, so where my question is for me and my standing point, who am I? Like, like, well, I know who I am, but I'm saying what category of a church do I fit in after being told if I'm a holiness, I should live it and act that way. So in other words, in my, in my head, what rolled in my mind, maybe claiming for myself to be a Pentecostal, maybe that's not for me no more. And in other words, after that, onto this, we, we have started going to a closer church. Now keep in mind, guys, it's a sacrifice for us. That church that we go to is an hour drive. Hour, about an hour and 15 minutes drive, tops. For us to get all four kids ready, ourselves ready, dealing with daily life and all this kind of crap, and then having to go there and then getting pinpointed out. Yeah, I don't get that at all. But it's just a bump in the road. I know that. I know that this is just some test that the good Lord up above is putting me through. I know that. That being said, we have been going to a Baptist church up, up the road here where we live. Maybe 10, 15 minutes if that. And it's Baptist. It's a Baptist church. They don't really, I don't guess they really label themselves that. I don't know what they do if they do or if they don't. Those people there, let me tell you guys, they took me and my family in. This is no lie. Took our family in like we were family. We like we go to that church, it's nothing but love. Pure happiness, pure it's like family. That little church that we go to is like Tin Mall. The the holiness church that we went to. Just the love there. And you know, don't get me wrong, I know that I've said about the judging about you know, that that was there. But the love was there too. But it's like that same home feeling that I was raised in at that church. And my battery's going dead. But, um, so yeah, we've been going to the that Baptist church. That's, you know, really different. It's not really different. At first it was. But now I just go in there and I'm, I'm myself. I'll clap my hands. Whatever the Lord, you know, if I get happy, I'll get happy. I've done that. A, I've done that a few times, not a lot, because you know I don't want to scare nobody off or nothing, or them run me off. But um, I've me and my friend um, that I actually met up there, we got a Sunday school going. Like before, like before I wasn't going there. There hadn't been a Sunday school there in years. Like hardly no kids went. Now that we've been going and we got that started up, it's amazing what God's done up there. I, there is all kinds of kids going to that church. We we started off with a few, which I've got four. That's quite a bit, you know. But we started out with a few. Now we have so many kids. This is no lie. We have two Sunday school rooms: a big room for the little kids and a room for the the little ki um, for the big kids, and then one for the little kids. That's what God's doing. And simple as that. It's a little old country church, guys. I'm a country girl. I, my heart is country like you know like you know I don't I'm not no big fancy person that you know I'm just that's just not who I am I'm just a typical old person that loves the Lord loves to help people and you know I try to do my best in life and like I never want to see people sad or when I see kids that don't have like a mom and dad like at Sunday school and stuff that really breaks my heart that's like People should focus on things like that. Pray for these people. Lift them up. You know, like, I've been praying for a darn Sunday school bus to help. Like, heck, I'll drive it. I'll get that Sunday school bus and pick up all these little kids and take them to church that don't have that. That's my that's my desire is to help these little kids. And, you know, which my desire, too, has been to be a nurse. But I think some somewhere down the road, maybe I... I'll, I will be in a group, maybe my own family, maybe we'll have a group together, singing together, who knows. When that, like, I could do, I could start singing now, like, I do sing places. I've, I've got an opportunity to sing, uh, which I do down in town here every once a month. And then I'm supposed to be singing at a restaurant where quite a bit people come during the 4th of July. But I think that's on the 3rd. 
the opportunities have been there, but I don't think it's time yet. And I'll, I'll sing here and there, you know, whenever I'm offered. But that's my desire. And, um, like I said, it's a Baptist church. And I, we started going there because it's closer. We didn't have to drive an hour away. My husband's, my husband's been off work. So, you know, that's a big toll, too. And we... Instead of having to drive backwards and forth an hour to church two days a week, we just decided to start going up here. And it's home there. And it's people has been so loving and so nice to us. It's unbelievable. And mainly for Sunday school. And Lord, not Lord, I never did in my years, which by no means am I like really a Sunday school teacher. Like me and, me and my friend, um, she's the main like Sunday school teacher. I just like help her back up and then when she's not there of course I have to teach too and I just like you know help her out with whatever she needs but sorry guys my throat's getting dry here but never in my life in my years and I'm in my night shirt so I'm sorry I didn't plan on doing this that's just how random that I work um never in my years would I think I'd ever be as like a Sunday school teacher or helper. I mean, you know, I've got four kids, but those little kids, guys, you y'all be amazed. They've been like several kids have gotten saved there last week, and it's just unbelievable. Like kids just keep coming. It's crazy. And so where I'm standing at, I know I'm going from A to Z rambling with this stuff here. It's different now that I've stepped into a Baptist church and I'm a holiness. Thought I was a holiness. I mean, that's going to be instilled in my heart forever. But I don't think that I'm going to even have a label like in a category of who, I guess for God, I need to be, when people ask me what denomination I am, I'm just going to say to the most high, baby. Serving the Lord with all my heart, with all that I need to know. You know, I don't really know if I'm a, holi a holiness anymore, and I don't, I'm not really Baptist. So, like, that's that's what I'm I'm trying to rely on God. What through this situation here? What is the Lord trying to tell me? Like, seriously, what do I need to do? What do I need to know? Just reveal it to me. That's that's what I need. I need to get some type of comfort in. Of knowing like where I stand like what I don't know I'm if, if people says that I'm not holiness I'm not a holiness religion then what the crap I don't wear skirts God I the only time I wear skirts is if I'm going to church because I'm literally I had to wear them on my life but I don't know y'all 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 like if you have any opinions on this situation here what do y'all think if if i was raised holiness now i'm going to a baptist and i was told that i'm wearing makeup and stuff and all this kind of bull crap that i should live it if i'm going to be it you can't i don't understand it and it, and as far as that goes with that situation baptist people's going to heaven Holiness people's going to heaven, Methodist, whatever religion you are, of course, that's of God, not of the devil, not any kind of like, I don't know, better not dip into that, but you know what I'm talking about. I mean, we're all one. We all are trying to do the, the same thing, serve the Lord with all our heart and all of our might. So why, like, why do you have to have that label? That's... Guys, I'm at a freaking standpoint here. And it's sort of discouraging sometimes when I, the more I think about it and stuff. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. I don't know. In my heart, I'm a holiness person. Like, you know, I was raised that. I know it's just a label. But in my heart, I am. But after all this crap's been going down and stuff, don't know, guys. Don't know. I don't know if sometimes when crap like this happens the good lord up above is trying to get her attention about something i don't know but that's what's on my mind tonight guys and just pray for me and
like this is no lie all of my youtubers here i've got i think 4,000 and something maybe 400 i don't know 415 last time i checked it it's a number but i'm thankful for it i'm not i don't care how many subscribers i've got but this is really true what i'm about to say all of you all that have stuck with me and said encouraging words to me and uh, you know watch my videos in general and just been just been there like seriously guys i'm serious um y'all never know how thankful i am for all of y'all i know some of you maybe watch my channel and don't comment and just you know that's fine but every one of you all like good grief whenever i first started guys this is like this is no lie i felt not a, like i sort of felt alone but like i didn't really have a whole lot of friends and and this i'm stepping up here i'm talking about this so just bear and granite here for a minute like i had friends but like you know like when you're a mom and stuff and like you grow up and it's just different and my mom was my best friend and she passed away and there was just some kind of voidness there in my life and lo and behold i got on youtube just looking through coupon and stuff and not even i didn't even know what a group was on youtube or like i didn't even think that existed i thought it was a dad blame um you know just like a um thing you go on there look for musics or videos but when i started my channel it was just like it was couponing but i mean it was something and i didn't really think that it would expand to this and i'd meet so many good friends and uh so many like all of y'all are awesome like i know well the ones that i've talked to and like you know watched for a long time y'all know who y'all are y'all just have the awesomest heart ever like seriously okay Woo. i'm gonna quit and for people like you all that like you've never met some of you i have um that you actually get to meet and like they're still that way and they stay that way it's awesome the lord does that for a reason that in times that we need people in our life you know people go and come we we all grow up we get older different past different chapters in our life that occur um but lord how mercy jesus very thankful very thankful for you all and the ones that i'm close to very thankful for you all too um and another thing that's really exciting to where i won't cry here anymore because i don't like crying i've had i have had enough of crying in my life to last a lifetime what's happened to this Ooh. but um i'm going to be meeting up with my bff sylvia in july which is very exciting because guys i've only met her one time and i feel like i've known her all my life she's just super awesome um so that's exciting and if y'all haven't checked her channel out just go on over it's organized mama one i've rambled about that a lot but i love her to death she's awesome there's a lot of people on here that's really touched my heart and um just real like y'all have been really good examples on here uplifting and encouraging you know that's what we all need in life and whether like never in my life would i think i'd be on here on youtube little old me on here on this freaking youtube talking on here and doing hauls and doing all this stuff but god knows what's best for us and maybe you know the more i think about stuff sometimes i sit and think should i be like an inspiration or I can't even talk an inspirational speaker i'm country i know that but i don't really know what God, where god's leading me in, in my life right now you know i said i don't know if i'm baptist if i'm this or that you know i really don't know um my desire is to sing and help people and you know like do my testimonies and stuff like that uh of course my desire is to be a nurse going back to school in august i love helping people and you know a lot of the my heart is drawn toward everybody like in the medical field but more so the elderly i don't know there's just so many of those people are so sad like a lot of them are in nursing homes or in these assisted livings they never 
really see so many people and they're in their last days and it's just it's sort of sad but when you're work like I was through like an aid and assist for a short while and when you get to do one-on-one -on -one with that person and you get to talk to them I done a lot of singing and like praying with them and reading the Bible with them and it's just amazing it's because you touch their life in so many ways and not only are you helping them and you know doing what you need to do you're also instilling like the love of the Lord and showing them the compassion that like for instance that I have and just you know look I'm here like you know whatever I can do I'll do it for you if I can do it that's my desire um, that's just the type of person I am now on, now on the other hand I'm a crazy wild person too sometimes I life is so short I like to get out and laugh and have a good time cackle with this cackle with that I'm just you know I'm, I'm like that but when it comes to serious stuff like this I can't get serious I mean life's too short guys to be pinpointing and picking and wearing saying you can't wear makeup guys I love my makeup my makeup makes me feel good and it just makes me feel sexy to be honest with you and free skin all that kind of crap so I'm not turning it down for nobody no I mean if God stood right here in front of me and said yeah you need to well yeah I'd lay it down then but I don't God's not going to do that because he's not he ain't sending anybody so to hell for wearing makeup I'm sorry but anyways that's what I'm that's what's on my mind and I wanted to come on here and talk to you all about all that because it's bearing on my mind now that I've talked about it though I feel a little bit better but I just need for y'all to pray for me to where the Lord will the Lord will reveal to me where I like what do I need to do about this what will ease my heart and my mind and wh like what the crap am I am I bad I know that I'm not Baptist and I've been told that I'm not holiness so what the crap what well, like that just th that just is like a smack in the face and it just twirls me all the way around I don't know and I'm rambling and I'm talking but you know and it's probably like done 130 God help me for the love of God this old girl here is gonna be needing a cup of joe in the morning bright and early lord no actually i'll probably be i'm gonna sleep in tomorrow if i can i need it Ooh, look at that yeah but guys those of you that watch this video i've not put it up yet of course duh but when i do put it up if um those of you that watch this just pray for me and i appreciate y'all taking your time to just listen to all this because you know I know this is weird and a lot of people don't understand if you've never been raised this way in a holiness kind of way so I don't know it is what it is and I know with a shadow of doubt it's a bump in the road like I said always testimony without a test you don't have a testimony and you don't grow stronger and you don't get stronger I've been through so much in my life like so many things in my life has happened to me and most of it's been bad that's just how like a lot of things in my life that I have encountered has been bad but you know that's what that's what God chose for me and through all that crap it's made me who I am I appreciate so many things in life that like that so many people probably take um you know they're not thankful enough for it I'm so blessed with four kids four beautiful children that are my life like they are my life a wonderful husband God love us so he gets on my nerves sometimes but he's the best husband ever and he's my best friend love him to death I'm just so blessed and so thankful looking back about 15 years ago would it be 15 years ago when I was 15 I don't know I'm not good at math even though I did pass this I can't even talk it so late I'm not good at math even though I did pass stati statistics in college I'm still not good at it I hate it but looking back through whenever I was a teenager never in my life did I think I'd have what I have now I didn't think that I'll have this 
like my house is not like a mansion or nothing but to me to compare to what i used to live in it's a mansion to me and i have nice cars and i'm not bragging about this by no, by no means i'm just saying i'm thankful for it and sometimes i'll look back and think how in the world did the good lord up above let me have all this like seriously but he did and i guess sometimes i just need to sit and say thank you lord for your blessings on me and forget all this kind of garbage that's going on in my life right now maybe that's what i need to do maybe he's just trying to work something in my life and i don't know but i know there's something behind all this that's brewing all this up who knows but guys i just wanted to say that i am blessed we're all blessed whatever we have in life we should be thankful for it food clothes everything we just need to be thankful for everything that we have and i'm not wanting y'all to think that i'm sitting here complaining and all this kind of crap it's just something that's been on my mind and on my channel guys i'm random I could go for from a a coupon and haul to a Dollar Tree haul, talking about coffee, anything like that, because I'm just full of energy and life. Like that's just who I am. I just try to like helping other people, and if I can get somebody to laugh a few times, that's all that matters to me. I know some of my videos, I probably get people to cry too on here, but I don't mean to. But anyways, guys, I just want after all that said and done, just pray for me. Pray that the Lord will give me an answer on all this situation. What I need to do, like, you know, like, when I say do, like, should I just stay away from going to a holiness church? Should I, is God want me to close that chapter? Or is God want me to, you know, continue going when I can visit or what? And just, you know, excuse me, stay at that Baptist church? Which, like, we are, like, that's our home church. That is who, that's where God's put us at. That is our home church. And, but the thing of it is, I'm not Baptist. So, but in that church, it's not, it's not really a Baptist church. You can feel, it's so, I guess I just don't even need to be talking about that. Because it's, I guess, I, I don't know if I could irritate people on here. Because there's a lot of people Baptist on here, I think. Uh, I'm not, by no means am I knocking on Baptist. I love, like, I love Baptist people. I, I love everybody. I guess, really and truly, there shouldn't even be a freaking label. Because, you know, we're all going for one thing. And that's, you know, to get to heaven and to help others. So, just pray for me. I'm Right now, I'm rambling because it's, like, almost probably 2 in the morning. And Justin's asleep in there. All my kids are asleep, so I just needed somebody to ramble to and talk to. So, y'all probably won't see this until, to, like, in the morning because probably most of everybody's in the bed. I don't know. There's some night owls out there in this YouTube land, so maybe I'll get this here in a little bit. But just pray for me. The only thing that I need to know is I feel like since all that's been said and done, I feel like I don't, I don't amount up to be in the category of a holiness because i don't wear the skirts i don't wear the makeup uh, i mean i do wear makeup i do cut my hair i do wear pants and all the whole nine yards so what do i need to do what like what what's god wanting for me about this or is it just the devil trying to discourage me i don't know it's, it's a it's a tough conversation if you don't really understand really what I'm I don't even know if y'all understand what I'm trying to say but I'm gonna pray about it I'm gonna do some praying this week guys I'm gonna get on my hand well probably not my hands and knees because I don't have time to do that I do a lot of praying in my mind and I do believe I think I'm gonna get out my um I plan I've been planning on doing like a study type journal thing like you know like reading the scriptures and then writing writing the stuff down that really gets to my attention I think I'm going to start doing that and just praying and maybe the good Lord told me to seek him a little bit more or something. I don't know. But anyways, until then, guys, thank y'all so much for being y'all or for being you. Sorry, I'm trying to listen to Noble. She's in there doing something. And um, I'm so silly. Um, thanks for being y'all and just pray for me. 
I'm going to cut this off right now because I'm rambling, but I will talk to y'all later. Bye.